Hi, I'm Willie and welcome back to my channel. Thank you to everyone for being here. I really appreciate every one of you. I really do. Before we get to the main content, I just got a quick couple things I want to say. Mark your calendars for November 10th. There will be a live stream with Tom Lawrence where we are going to discuss nothing but security the entire time. Everything from physical security to um, database security, uh, Linux security, Windows security, 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 security. That's the whole thing. It's going to be, there will be, you know, whatever networking goes along with security, but the main content is going to be about security. So there'll be more details about that. Second of all, let's give away a net tool. And to get entered to win a net tool, all you need to do is comment in this video and give me a thumbs up. All right. And I'm going to let that ride for seven to ten days, and then we're going to pick a winner, and then we'll talk about all kinds of other stuff. There's also going to, a promo code down in the description uh, that if you don't win, you can get you know extra percentage points off of your order. So one of the most common questions I get when it comes to the Ubiquity cameras and live streaming is, can I automate the live stream? And the answer is, kind of. So the last that I knew, and maybe I'm, I'm out of date with this, but the last that I knew, Ubiquity didn't support full automation of the live stream. Uh, there was some sort of security um, something with it. So uh, I came up with a way for some of my users to be able to launch the, the live stream at will. So some things you're going to need to follow along with this. You're going to need a virgin UVC G2 or G3 on the latest firmware. It has to be on the latest firmware. Not necessarily the latest, but I believe it has to be past 3.2. 3.2 or newer. So you're going to have your camera, and we're going to walk through a couple things of setting it up, and then you're going to need a YouTube account that can live stream, and then you're going to need the files that I'm going to provide uh, in the zip file that you'll be able to find down in the description. So let's get to it. Let's talk about this a little bit. So We've got a uh, virgin or pristine, as pure as the white driven snow. We have a G3, right? It's not joined to a Unify server, so it is not joined to an NVR. That's the important part. You can do this from the NVR. That's a different tutorial. We are doing it directly from a camera. Okay, so I plugged my camera in. You can see UVC. G3 E76B has an IP of 192.168.66.101. I made that a reservation because I don't want this changing, right? Okay, so we hop over to the camera. This is the first thing we get is the login screen. So the default credentials are going to be UBNT, UBNT. And it's going to come in. Usually there's a wizard, but a little bit ago I clicked skip and then I logged out. And now here we are. So we're going to call this front row. And it is not going to be Unify Video. It is going to be standalone. I want it to be standalone. Uh, for now, we can have the mic on um, if you're live streaming and, you know, check, check your local laws. Some places don't allow you to record um, audio without notifying people who are going to be uh, recorded. So the camera is restarting, and we're going to do this just to make sure. We're also going to SSH into the camera and run the commands from the... We're going to SSH in, we're going to run the commands from our script file that we're going to create to make sure that it works um, before we try to automate this and just think that it's working. So we're going to, we're going to little, do a little bit of sanity checking here. And you never know, we may have to run into some troubleshooting. So the camera is restarting. I can hear the IRs kicking on. I'm impatient, so you know how that goes. So I'm going to pause this, and as soon as the camera's back, we will uh, take a look at that. Okay, our camera's back. We'll just make sure our UBNT, UBNT credentials still work. The name of the camera is Front Row. Okay, enough of that. Uh, we're going to go over to YouTube. You gotta have a YouTube channel. So this is my kids gaming channel that they are trying to figure out what they want to do with. Um, and you're gonna go over to your live streaming. And you're gonna come down here and you're gonna reveal we need 
the stream key. So we need this, so we'll reveal it, and we I'm going to reset it. So you can copy this, it's not going to do you any good. This key is going to be dead after this video is created. So then I'm going to provide these three files. So plink or plink, whatever you want to call it, is produced by the same people who make Putty, and it allows you to run SSH commands from uh, the command line. Then I'm going to provide the camera.txt and the camera.bat file. The camera.txt, um, this contains the command that will actually be run inside the camera. So we're going to paste our live stream key there. Then we are going to select this whole thing. And we are first going to SSH into the camera. And we are going to paste this in and hit enter. And normally, if this works properly, we should see a lot more stuff on the screen than that. So I'm not confident that it's working. Um, except it is. So, so it is working. So this is not um, what I am accustomed to seeing. So just to let you know, too, that this is actually, uh, I'm running a, a beta firmware. And normally on the three dot whatever firmware, I'm used to seeing a bunch of lines scroll here. So you can see that we are actually streaming right now to the H5, um, yeah, to the H5 gaming. That's awesome, right? So we're going to kill that, and uh, we know that that works. So now we're going to save. We're going to save that into our file. I'll explain the rest of the files, and then we'll see if we can make this thing uh, go automatic. So I am simply going to just um, reboot the camera, and that should kill uh, the stream. You could uh, you could SSH into it. I heard the IRs kick off, so this live stream should uh, should die. Oh, I have one person watching the the live stream. That's that's amazing. That's not it's not even my channel, so that's awesome. Um, H5 Gaming has um, I think like 80 subscribers from when my kids tried to do it the first time. We're we're trying to figure out exactly what they want to do. Um, yeah, you know, maybe I'll make an announcement one day about H5 Gaming. I think we got a cool logo. Anyway, back to the task at hand. So we know that this works, right? So we're going to save this guy. So let's go back to these files, and I and I will put these a link to these files. So you're going to have to have this. Now here's camera.bat. When you edit it, it's going to call plink, plink, um, so dash hyphen sshubnt at 192.168.66.101-pwubnt, so that's a password, and then it's going to pass these off. Now, just for some sanity checking here, I am going to put a full path in there just in case. So when you get yours, you'll have to change the IP address, the username, and password. You should never use UBNT, UBNT in a live situation. And then on the camera.txt, don't forget to change your live stream key. So our camera should be back up. We'll check that out real quick. Camera appears to be up. Camera looks good. I'm going to log out of this. Here's our, our live stream dashboard. So now we're going to go over to camera.bat. I just want to make sure all the paths look good. They look good there. So let's uh, fire it up and see what happens. We're going to double click on it. And I don't know if it works. Let's see. We have to go over here to our stream. And there the stream is resuming. So Using those files, you can make it so you can just double click. And this is useful in, in my case because I have customers who want to live stream 
you know, 24 seven, they may have a power outage, they may have a network outage. For some reason, the live stream, uh, the stream gets broken and they don't want to have to SSH in. They just want to double click that and walk away. So this is about the simplest way that I found to automate it from Windows. We could get really crazy with Linux and all kinds of stuff, but that's not, that's not what this is. This is if you want a, a file on your desktop to double click on it. And you'll be good. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use the Amazon affiliate links down there to buy your gear. It doesn't change your price, but it does kick a few bucks to the channel to keep these kind of tutorials rolling out. Uh, once again, I want to thank you for being here and all the information you need to do your own odd semi-automated live stream is down in the description. And I'll see you in the next video.